All right, thanks, Leon, for your introduction. So hello, everyone. My name is Taeyun Yang, and I'm a postdoc in Michael Birnbaum Group in Biological Engineering Department. So today, I'd like to introduce you uh, our platform for engineering CAR T cells, um, which is rapid and time effective and cost effective. So our CAR, CAR T cells are genetically engineered T cells that express CAR molecules on the surface, uh, which can directly target uh, cancer cells and kill them. So there have been several generations of CARs uh, depending on how many intracellular signaling domains uh, people are incorporating in this CAR. And people have shown that uh, certain signaling molecules that are incorporated can boost up the CAR-T function. And there have been two FDA approved uh, CAR-Ts currently, uh, both, both against blood cancer such as B-cell leukemia or lymphoma. And I just wanna point out here that even though these two CAR T cells target the same cancer molecule, depending on what kind of signaling domain they have, such as 41BB or CD28, uh, they have very drastically different characteristics, such as one being much better in proliferating and the other one much better in uh, cytotoxicity. But both of those have shown great promise uh, in clinical trials, as you can see here, where you're looking at over 80% of response rates in refractory B-cell lymphoma patients. However, these CAR T cells have not shown great promise against solid tumors, uh, where we are only looking at less than 10% of average response rates. And there could be a lot of reasons why that's happening, uh, which I'm not gonna go into details uh, at this point, but just wanna point out that we believe we can solve most of these problems by manipulating signaling components of CAR T cells. And this has been evidenced by a couple of recent papers uh, where they have introduced new types of signaling domains in CAR T cells and make them better. But still, we are only playing around with a very limited pool of CAR molecules or signaling molecules in this context. And for example, looking at hundreds of different CAR T trials ongoing globally, we are only looking at a handful of signaling proteins that are used in CAR context where we can actually use tensor hundreds of different signaling components here. And surprisingly, 41BB and 328 signaling molecules that are being used in um, FDA approved CARs take up about 95% of total CARs that's being used in the clinic. So this is a concern because no one has actually, actually found out that or prove that these, car, these signaling combinations are the best ones that we could use. And that's just because uh, it's very time consuming and um, uh, costly to generate and compare one by one. So to that end, uh, we came up with the idea of massively generating and comparing car molecules at the same time. But first, uh, you might be familiar with this video game called Mario Kart where depends on what kind of characters you choose here for your cart. Uh, you can make different kinds of synergies or characteristics. So imagine you have a pool of characters like this, and then what if you could randomly combine some of these characters at the same time un until the point where you have all possible combinations. And if you could race them all together at the same time, you'll be able to know what's the fastest one. So with that in mind, we came up with the idea of randomly combinating three out of 89 different immune cell signaling components so that we can make a, generate a library with the size of 89 to the third, which is about 700,000. So basically with this library, we are making 700,000 different CAR T cells at the same time. And we can stimulating, stimulating them at the same time and then select out only small fraction of cells that show characteristics of our interest. And we can reiterate this process multiple times to end up with only a dozen of CAR T cells that could be potentially the next generation CAR Ts. So this whole process is called directed evolution because we are select, basically selecting for the ones that survive in this evolutionary pressure. And you could imagine while well designing this evolutionary pressure would be the key to our success. So for an example, uh, we have done uh, using this system uh, just based on TSA activation marker. So here in this heat map, you're looking at 89 different uh, signaling domains that's in, that's in the library, and you're looking at the enrichment status of those after the selection based on the TSA activation marker. And what you see here is that ones that are in the red box, which are TSA activating molecules, 
enriched much more than TSA inhibiting molecules in this blue box, which indicates that our system is definitely working. So here we are just using TSA activation marker. However, if you could imagine we are using this for a more specialized selection strategies such as uh, better killing tumor cells or proliferation of immunosuppressive environment, we might be able to find the ones that can actually solve solid tumor problems. To summarize, our platform allows designing better CAR T cells in a time and cost effective manners. And if you'd like to know more about how we can approach using this, this system to solve solid tumor problems, uh, please come talk to me. So with that, I would like to thank our lab members, uh, our collaborators, and the funding sources. And thank you, everyone, for listening.